Yo, Real 92.3, man. Bootleg Kevin Damage, Real After Party. Yes. We got a special guest. T Grizzly's here. T Grizzly. Ah. He's here. What's up, bro? What's going on, man? Yo, what's good, man? Chilling, chilling. Tired. Vegas last night. He's living a good life right now. Did you do anything uh, besides perform in Vegas? Did you go out? Did you indulge in any I went out. I went out. I went out a couple times and I gambled. I went out a couple times and gambled. Floyd got a new strip club out there, right? Girl Gentleman, collection. Yeah, girl collection. Did you go there? I ain't go there. Mm, where'd you go? I, go there. I probably wouldn't have left. Yeah, you probably wouldn't have left. <laughs> I went to... I forgot what the club was called. I forgot what the little club was called. It was it was lit though. Did you uh win any money? No. no. I won seventy dollars initially and I was about to man. quit. You gotta take that seventy and go, man. So you're not like a big gambler. Huh? Um no, I am. <laughs> that just was initially that I lost something crazy. Well how much? Just tell us, who cares, right? Look I at lost, this chain. I lost some thousands. Probably some, like some five thousand. Five racks. Wow. Uh, I'd be sick. Damn, I could've paid my rent, man. You could have just came to LA and just broke me off, you know what I mean? <laughs> I should have. <laughs> I would feel better about it. <laughs> hey, uh, so so you uh, you just dropped the remix to uh, First Day Out, which yeah, yeah. is giving the song like a whole nut, like one of the biggest songs in the club in the last five years. You, and you and you did it with a guy who also had one of the biggest songs. It's like Dreams club. and Nightmares and First Day Out. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. like those are the two, two. worlds meet. <laughs> yeah, man. So yeah. so how long have you had? Because obviously Meek's locked up. How long have you had that Meek verse? Since we did Beef. Which, yeah, I figured that. You know, since since we did beef, I was initially just gonna wait until me and him could shoot a video for it. But I'm like, man, mm -hmm. the Eagles just won Philly turned that right now. Great I'm about to let Philly turn all the way up. You were gonna wait until he got out to drop it. I was then, uh, yeah, then <laughs> I was gonna wait until he got out because that would have made a lot of sense. Um, you got the new record colors, which is dope. Mm -hmm. uh, the yeah. album is activated, right? Mm -hmm. When is that coming? That's coming May 11th. That's the date right now. May 11th. You got the streets on fire with uh, that that tape you got with Dirk. Yeah, the blood. I, I feel like. And I don't know what it is about your energy. You help people rap better. You know what I'm saying? Not, I, I, I'm not a little Dirk fan. I'm not I a little Dirk. I respect Lil Dirk. Though. It's crazy to say, wait till you hear the album. I got some like I got some people on there, and you're gonna be like, man, they would have did that in two years. That's what I'm saying. Watch. But like, you are like one of the only artists still making concept songs. Mm -hmm. You know, like you actually your song has a meaning. It's a theme. People yeah. kind of just do like a hook. Yeah. And just rap, and like say anything. Like, but like from the joint you did with Yachty, yeah. I feel like you That's helped true. Yachty. Yeah, like that is true. You, you Yachty, horrible rapper, but not bad on the song he did with you. And then I'm listening to the Dirk with like the, the tape with Dirk. Not saying Dirk's a bad rapper, but the way it was put together, I feel like it put a better shine on Dirk's creativity. Like I feel like the way he was singing, how he was in pocket. I'm like. Are you like, are you helping these artists that you work with? Like, are you in the studio kind of like, hey, bruh? This is what it is. Like, I go in there and rap, right? And they, I guess they just catch it off that and just be like, I got to turn up, bro. Just turn up. Bruh. I got Yachty, look, I got Yachty on the album rapping, like, D today on steroids. I got Chris Brown in there rapping, going crazy. I didn't know Chris was that cold. <laughs> Chris can rap, man. Yeah, and they're going nuts. So you got another verse from Yachty. Yeah. Is it like a sequel to the first record, or what is the record? It's called it's called Light, but that must, that must Yachty's like, snapping on it, huh? He's snapping on there. And then Chris Breezy, like when you when, obviously when you do a record with Chris Brown, everybody goes for like, yo, I want that Chris Brown hook. You yeah. would you just got a verse? No, he he he, he did the hook he, too. He did the hook too. It's a Chris Brown hook, but it just he, it's, he, it's, he probably it's, wanted to rap after you heard you. Yeah, no, no, it's 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 a singing hook, but it's rapping though. He was already turned. Uh, he like I know I know how yo. Vibe, yeah, so I'm about to go off your vibe. Also, a lot of artists just can't go back and forth, bro. So I feel like you take some artists that I never seen go back and forth, and you kind of, I don't know, man. Like down the line, you might really have a craft in like molding some of these artists, bro. Yeah, I might, I might do that. I might do that. <laughs> you, made it, you made it cool to rap mm -hmm. because fuck, man. It's, yeah, because Dirk usually sings too. We are, we are in the uh, era of struggle melodic. raps. It is strugglerapper.com forward slash everywhere out. Everybody's there, leaning right? on the melody. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so last year you were one of uh, we picked you as one of our big snubs for the freshman list. This year, uh, I know they're going through the process of picking their freshmen currently. Um, have they reached out? Is that something you care about? Are you trying to get on the cover this year? They reached out, but at the end, I look at it like this, right? I'm not really tripping, right? Because my goals is way more bigger than being on the freshman list. But at the same time, that magazine has been through history. Yeah. Of course. You know what I'm saying? So it would be good to be a part of that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, if not, I'm not tripping. Yeah, it makes sense. I feel like they got to put you on it this time. Yeah. They got to, man. They got, they got to have somebody. Every every issue has like a really dope rapper. Mm -hmm. They got like last time it was Dave East. Yeah, because we, I'm looking for, I'm like, look, think about the freestyle and we need somebody on there that's actually going to rap. Mm -hmm. You know I'm going to come with it on that freestyle. Yeah. You know I'm going to come with it on that freestyle. 
Yo, so um, you got Chris Brown, you got Yachty on the album. Who else? Anybody from Detroit on the album? Um, anybody from Detroit? I'm trying to get Days. I'm trying to get Days and Shine to get on board. Mm -hmm. I reached out to them. An artist named Sada Baby. From yeah. Detroit. Okay. Sada Baby on there. Um, I got some Detroit producers on there, of course. Hell of a, you know. Has Eminem reached out at all? Or do you know if Eminem knows who you are at all? Um, he got to know who I am. You know, because I was in the cypher with him. Oh, did But you? he ain't reached out to me yet, though. I'm curious, Why? have you heard the new Eminem album? What are your thoughts if you have? Because it's, it's not getting a lot of love in these streets. I heard it. I heard it. But He could have used the T Grizzly verse on there. Yeah, I don't I ain't understand it. A lot of <laughs> stuff he do, I just don't understand. Right. Only right. thing I understood was the 8 Mile movie. That was a good move. 8 Mile, hey. That put 8 Mile on the map. Every time I test Mike from Detroit, they be like, you from 8 Mile. Musically, like, what do you want to do next? Like, who do you want to work with? Uh, I see you do a lot of collabs, of course, with people uh, of your peers, of mm -hmm. course, but uh, who would you like to work with? I ain't gonna lie, I, w I would love to work with Kendrick, Drake, and Jay-Z. I love to do something with Nas. Have you done anything with Mozzie yet? My eyes, you know, Mozzie. I rock with Mozzie, though. I feel like a Mozzie T. Grizzly record would be, like, extremely natural and organic and mm -hmm. awesome. You guys are on that same, like, real shit, you know what I mean? Yeah, I rock with Mozzie. You tell a good story, too, man. I'm excited to see. I I'm really a fan. Yeah. I, was, I used to come in and be like, yo, you didn't listen to the tape yet, did you? I don't know. I'm not a big Lil Durk guy. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. But you would like Lil Durk on this. I liked, I liked your, your, your project. No, yeah. but you would like Lil Durk on it. Durk I like, and you you're sounding like a whole new artist. You would like Lil Durk on Bledis. I'm going to give it a chance. You got to. So I ain't going to lie. Durk got some other stuff. So I, I ain't Durk turning up. Since then, everything Durk's been putting out, because I usually like, I, I respect Durk. I like DJ saying? Damage because he'll go on World Star and watch every video. Everybody. Everybody, like, man, Dirk it'll say like, label submitted and damage will be like, let me see what this is. About. <laughs> you got to, man, you got to tap in. <laughs> but like, since that tape, I'm like, or maybe it was probably recorded around the same time. I'm like, Dirk got this new focus, and I don't know. I feel like you had something to do with that. Mm. That's dope. You're like the LeBron James for these rappers. You make everybody better. I think is what he's trying to say. <laughs> well, yo, man, I, 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 when I when I when I came in the studio with Dirk, he was he was already on that. He was on that. He's ready. We go. motivate each other though, cause we really rock with each other though. You know. I ain't gonna lie. Other rappers who stepped it up, I feel like I gotta take the credit for that. I mean, you gotta take the audio. I gotta take the credit. Come on, man. Um, you know, we're in LA. You're from Detroit. We just uh, the Clippers just traded uh, Blake Griffin to Detroit. Mm -hmm. You know, if 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 Blake's watching, or if you get up with Blake Griffin in Detroit, what's like? How are you gonna get him acclimated? Like. To detail, like you gonna take him. Like, what give, club gotta, you gonna take him to? What I gotta give him some buffs. I gotta give him some buffs. Those the glasses we wear. Okay. I gotta give him some of them. And then he gotta post a picture. And once he do that, he gonna forever be loved in the city. If he don't do that, it's always gonna be shaky. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. wow. Blake, Blake, it's always gonna be shaky. Tap in. You better tap in with this guy. What? what yeah, man. Mm -hmm. What's there's still the no fly zone out there? Um, yeah, it's still that's still going on. I mean, he kind of. He kind of, I don't know, piston, I don't know, but he, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I can't speak on it, I don't know. We had, um, I know if I say it's a no-fly zone and somebody comes, it's just laying like that. We had a cash doll up here a few months ago. She seems to be making a lot of noise out of the city. Have you guys collaborated at all? You got a relationship with her? Um, we cool, we cool. Like, um, we know each other and we see each other. Like, it's cool, it's love, it's all love. But we ain't collabed on no music yet. It might happen soon, maybe? Yeah, it might happen soon. Yeah. I, I rock with everybody. She really put music out though for like two years at the same time. Also, she so got some label problems. Or I think that's over. So mm -hmm. maybe with yeah, that happening, that's, happen that's, that's, that's over. With she, she about to, she, she, she about, about to turn, turn up. up. Yeah. yeah. So sure. I feel like that's gonna definitely come in the future. Hopefully. A activated the album coming out in May. Anybody besides uh, Chris Brown and Yachty that we? I got Chris Brown, Yachty, Jeezy, Ray Shrimmer. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Ray Shrimmer on the project. Yeah. Um, YFN, Lucci. Okay. Nice. I know that's gonna be hot. Um, money bag, yo. Hey, I can't think of who else. That sounds fire so far. You're on the road with Jeezy right now. Mm -hmm. uh, Jeezy, I think when we first interviewed you, at least when I first interviewed you, I was telling you like, like your music kind of gives that feeling that was missing in hip hop. That when Jeezy dropped Thug Motivation one one back in the day, like you know, it's, it's just it, it gives me that same kind of feeling. What's it like being on the road with with, with the OG and and rocking with him, on, on, you know, city to city? Jeezy's that guy. It's like looking into the future. Hey. You know what I'm saying? It's like looking into the future. Because he come back and they go crazy for him. And they go super crazy for them songs that he was rapping when he was talking for the people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's what I hope to come back and do. You That's feel? true. Yeah. It's a year It's a year and some change down the line. And they still go crazy for stuff off my moment. Mm-hmm. 
you know, so that's, you know, it's a blessing. T Grizzly. T Grizzly, man, the album's dropping May 11th. 11th. Activated. Colors is out right now. Colors are right now. Go stream Colors on everywhere. Go get that Colors and, uh, yeah, man, support this guy. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Real 92.3. Real after party. Woo!